Uh, hi everyone, this is Mustafa. I'm capturing this video to show you how to get Radiance, Dayseam, uh, False Color 2, and Evol Glare installed on your system. Probably you have read the release notes already. If you didn't, you should. It's here. And how you get here, you just go to the to the group page of uh, Honeybee, Ladybug and Honeybee right now. Used to be Ladybug. And click on this, read the release notes. And how to get here is uh, just Google for Ladybug Grasshopper or uh, just type www.grasshopper3d.com slash group slash Ladybug. So let's get started. You need to get Radiance and uh, they seem installed to get Honeybee to work. I provided the links here so if you come down to number two, uh, just click here open a new tab, uh, here is the place that you can download Radiance from NREL website and I click on the second one too to open this for Dayson. So when you go here uh, I'm already logged in if if you're not you need to make an account and log in on the page it's a little bit of pain but it's okay you can do it then uh, when you go in uh, getting it started if you come down you can see the Windows version for 32 bits even if you have 64 this is the version that you can download uh, I'm not sure if there is any 64 version for Windows at, at least I don't know so you click here it brings you to this page there is a disclaimer agreement you should read it I don't know if anybody ever reads it but you should so then you accept it you press continue uh, you come here, you click on this link and it will download Radiance uh, EXE file so you can install it. So this is number one. While well, this one is downloading here, okay it's almost over. You go here, this is the DaySim link so I clicked here and this is the page. Which country? Uh, like just to wherever you are where you live and then what is your profession I think I can still say architect building design and then just download this press here and then save the file so now if I go to the to my downloads folder uh, my computer downloads folder I have Radiance and Dayseam so to get them installed I just double click on Radiance run you press next you agree again read these things and then he here's the thing don't don't say next so change this uh, the current version of Honeybee doesn't support these spaces I I will make it available for the next version for, but for now just go for something like this see back slash radiance uh, press next install so it will install this one uh, finish so now I have radiance installed mm, I for some reason my system didn't like it or because I'm capturing a video I don't know then oh no please don't freeze yeah you shouldn't go that this bad on your systems okay uh, finish then you can do daysim run again an agreement uh, and this one has different agreements that you have to go through one by one and then you install this so this one will go I think by default in C back slash DASIM finish so if you have these two installed okay it just came off so C back slash DASIM as you can see all the files and then you can go to C back slash radiance to check the radiance files are there so you get the bin folder, the library folder so you're almost done but not 100% uh, what you need to do next is to go here 
and if you want to generate false color images which probably you want you need to download the false color too so if you just click on this link it will be downloaded uh, there is no installation for, for false color 2 uh, I gave the credit to the developers here Thomas thanks to him you have this version else you had to use like false color exe which is actually not always works on Windows beca because it's not really written for Windows but there is a compiled version for Windows too so you go here what you need to do is just like to grab this I already have it copied but uh, you won't so if you go to C backslash radiance backslash bean you need to copy it here as you see I already have it but I just do it for the sake of doing it so I replace it and the last step is to to download the glare evolve glare if you want to run glare analysis with with honeybee uh, so you just go ahead, uh, click on this link, there will be a zip file, you save this one. I open this, so this is how Glare comes. You get a copyright txt file. It, there is a really good documentation, uh, you can go and read it if you want. And basically what you, you what I implemented inside the component is based on this documentation and all you need to do is just like select eval glare copy it I pressed control C and then I go back again to C back slash radiance back slash bean and I paste it here and I think I already have it but like for you it should be copied for me it asks if I want to overwrite so done I I have installed everything that I need uh, and uh, I think I go ahead and uh, install Ladybug and Honeybee 2 because the video is not that long yet so you need to download Ladybug and Honeybee uh, definitely to get them installed you go here you click it will bring this uh, link here at inbox page you just click download uh, there is a zip file you want to save it yes I just saved the file so again if I go to the folder I have ladybug and honeybee so if you open the, this zip file there, it, there are a bunch of uh, user objects like 113 use different user objects so all you need is actually grab this user objects in, into uh, grasshopper canvas but before doing that, if you have an old version of uh, Ladybug or Honeybee installed, you should you should remove that. You should remove the old version. And how to do that is there are different ways you can do it. We'll see if it can open Grasshopper. Okay, it did it. So there are different ways that. Uh, you can do it one way is to go here now that I'm going to remove it so you go here and just like right click and say delete user object then you have to do it for every single of this this ones which was like 113 something so it takes a long time the other way is just go here uh, to file special folders a uh, user object folder and here if I have some other user objects but uh, there is a reason that I name everything like it starts with honeybee and ladybug and the reason is you can easily understand which ones are for ladybug and honeybee and just uh, remove them so you can select them and delete them like select and delete I can do that right now for part of this so randomly I deleted some of them but there is another way which uh, is uh, going to this page and come down here to the so here is the first page the group page I know this is not like in the best order we will clean this thing so it will be easier but here down to installation there there is a note that if you have an older version download and open this file and set the boolean to true so so it will remove everything so I just I just download this I clicked on the link I'm downloading this I save it 
I go to the folder. I just drag and drop this thing here. If if it's confusing for you what I did, like so you can go here, file, open document, and then go to downloads and then select this file. So what this file does is basically similar to what I did right now. It goes in, in inside that folder and delete all uh, all the user objects which is starts with ladybug and honeybee. So uh, if I set this thing to true, they're gone. You're all set. You don't have ladybug and honeybee. I mean you don't have the old version. So I just close this. Uh, the document. No. So this is the last step you go wherever uh, I didn't actually extract the file so what you need to do is to extract these files so I make a new folder and I go here I select all this I put them here I go inside the folder I just select everything by pressing Control A and I drag and drop here okay what happened is everything came here if you check probably okay I saw everything but sometimes it it doesn't really load all, all the user objects the first time that you do it so what you can do is just close grasshopper go here and type uh, grasshopper unload plugin so it will unload the plugin and then uh, run it again and you should see everything up there I mean we already saw them and if you want to make sure everything is fine just grab ladybug and let it fly and connect a panel here if you don't have uh, radiance and daysim installed it will if it will give you a warning that you don't have radiance installed or I don't know something like honeybee can't find uh, the radiance honeybee can't find daysim there used to be a warning for energy plus I removed that because uh, the energy plus components are not there and I think there's no reason for them to be there right now so if you saw that two warnings for radiance and daysim you you have a problem in your installation you, you should get it fixed else you're all set you can start using it and to get it started there are multiple example files where to find them I can go back to the group page up there here so you can see the example files for Ladybug, you can see the example files for Honeybee, I just click for the Honeybee ones. Uh, you will get all this, uh, as you can see, you can download all of them and they're just like, there are different examples and there are enough notes to get us started. But uh, I'll, I'll try to capture some videos too. Okay, that was it. Uh, I hope this video helped you to get us started and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.